Hi there, welcome to Grain TV. It's Monday, August 1st, a new month, but very little change in the direction of grain markets. Let's take a look at the Grain Edge trading platform and see where we're at. Beans was down 39 cents on new crop November. Uh, corn was down six and a half and wheat managing to po post positive gains up five and a quarter. News today was pretty much more of the same. The weather looks favorable. We came out of the weekend uh, with a fair amount of rain in the Midwest, uh, especially in the Western Corn Belt. Uh, the middle part of the country was pretty dry, but overall temperatures were pretty mild, only hitting the upper, I'm sorry, only hitting the mid to lower 80s. Uh, for much of the I states in the Midwest. So most, mostly traders are looking at the prospects of very large crops. USDA will give us their first official survey-based crop estimates in August, August 12th. And so that will be something that's on everyone's minds as we move forward in the coming trade sessions. Uh, news out this morning, exporters sold uh, 391,000 metric tons of new crop beans for 2016-17 delivery. Yet again, that didn't seem to dissuade people from selling this market on the open this morning uh, as we got into the normal trade session. Also out today were weekly export inspections from USDA. These numbers were a mixed result with corn coming in a little bit light compared to expectations, but still relatively strong for this time of year. Uh, total sales or total export inspections for the week were 1.1 million metric tons versus 1.2 to 1.4 expected. Soybeans coming in at the low end of expectation, 671,000 metric tons and wheat for a change coming in above expectations at 662,000 metric tons. Now, when we talk about wheat, this is a market that has really gotten hammered down uh, here in the last few weeks, uh, especially going back to, to harvest in July. So we have come down to the low $4 mark on front month September, both in Kansas City, both in Chicago, and we've sort of been hovering there for the better part of two weeks. We are bouncing off of those lows a little bit yesterday, I'm sorry, on Friday as well as today, but overall this is a market that is really trading down at the lows. Now, there are some positive things uh, to hang our hat on. First of all, French is, the France crop is very, uh, very poor this year, and we're seeing French prices at a premium to U.S. prices for the first time in two years, and not just a small premium, but it was $17 a metric ton premium. So that's positive. On the other side of the spectrum, though, the Black Sea market is very discounted to the U.S., so that will potentially be a drag. But other things to watch, if you're a farmer holding wheat, we have an exceptionally weak basis. Take a look at this chart for Gulf export bids out of Houston, both for hard red and soft red winter wheat. If we look at where we're at today, compare that to a year ago, you can see we are very, very depressed on soft red winter wheat basis and hard red winter wheat in red, not much better. So overall, the market is strongly encouraging farmers to, to store their wheat and, and deliver it in a deferred period. And we can see that as well when we look at the spreads uh, whether it's Kansas City or whether it's Chicago, but I'm going to show Chicago here for a moment. If we look at the spreads between SEP and DEES uh, futures contracts, that right now is a 28 cent spread or about 9 cents a month. SEP to March is a 52 cent spread, 8.6 cents a month. SEP to May is a 66 cent spread, 8 and a quarter cent a month. And even all the way out into new crop July, uh, we still have a fairly significant spread. So what does this mean for a farmer? You know, you're stuck in the doldrums of very weak basis, very depressed futures prices. In my opinion, this is a clear signal to be storing that wheat and potentially doing something on the board uh, to enhance your price. One option would be to uh, simply lock in or sell a deferred uh, futures contract and capture that basis appreciation over time. Another approach might be instead of selling futures to sell calls for uh, for deferred delivery. If we go all the way out into July of 17, July 17 futures around 480, you can sell four. I'm sorry, sell five dollar calls for 36 cents. Sell 550 calls for 23 cents. That puts a ceiling on your futures price. In the case of selling a $5 call, your ceiling is 536. Selling a 550, it puts a ceiling at 573. Those aren't necessarily bad prices compared to where we're at today in the low $4 range. So, you know, while that is a risky strategy, you're taking a margin position by selling calls, you know, probably you would hope 
that the market would actually turn around and rally. And if you've got the cash wheat on hand, then you're going to be able to capture that appreciation in price. So selling calls, although again, a risky strategy might be a strategy that could pay uh, some premium here in terms of collecting if we do fall short of $5 or $5.50. As always, if you want help in learning how to utilize this type of strategy, give us a call at Grain Hedge, 877-472-4607, or visit us online at GrainHedge.com and take a free demo of our trading platform. As a Grain Hedge trading client, you'll get our technical alerts email first thing every trading day. Technical Alerts is a powerful system that generates quality trading opportunities. Each trading opportunity shows a chart and analysis providing clear price targets and risk potential. Technical Alerts look at historical chart formations and compare the current environment to the past to form concrete trading recommendations. The commodities covered by Technical Alerts includes grains, livestock, crude oil, currencies, bonds, and metals. Start your trading day with the most powerful insight into market direction and improve your trading today. Sign up at Grainhead to become a client.